Selling one design is like casting a single fishing line. You might catch something, but it's mostly luck. Now imagine casting a hundred lines at once. That's what seamless patterns let you do. They're the secret weapon to how pro designers turn one design into a full collection. And they're everywhere, on home decor, kitchen accessories, school stuff. Chances are you've already seen them and didn't even realize. Now, most people don't even know this is possible, but once you learn how to make seamless patterns, you'll never again design the same way. I'm gonna show you how to make one in Canva. No fancy tools, no experience needed, and by the end of the video, you'll have a ready to sell pattern you can slap on hoodies, tumblers, tablecloths, whatever you want. So what is a seamless pattern? It's a design that can repeat forever. No edges, no gaps, no awkward seams. It tiles cleanly across any size. So whether you're designing for a large blanket or a smaller bag, it always looks intentional. Seamless patterns are perfect for big items, duvet covers, rugs, tapestries, anything where a small design might get stretched. They're also the secret to nailing all over print products like leggings, hoodies, backpacks, you name it. With just one pattern, you can fill every inch of a product with a clean, professional looking design. And the best part, you can go wild. Weird styles, repeating characters, bold textures, seasonal themes. Seamless patterns give you infinite opportunities to create stuff that actually stands out. All right, let's get into it. Let's start by opening up Canva here, and we're gonna open up a square template. Now, whenever we're making seamless patterns, we always want to use a square, because remember, it's going to be tiled. I have a bigger template here, it's 2000 by 2000, and depending on your product, if it's a larger one or a smaller one, you might wanna make it a little bit bigger just so it has the best resolution. Now, I'm gonna show you how to make two different patterns today. The first one will be kind of a basic pattern here with a few simple elements that we're gonna put on a baby blanket. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and scroll down to an empty canvas here, and we're just going to first find our elements. Let's start with this cute boho rainbow. We'll go to elements here and simply search for rainbow or boho rainbow. And we'll go to graphics. And we'll see we have a lot of cute options. We'll just go with this first one with the little hearts. Now, when you have an element to make it a seamless pattern, we're simply going to copy and paste it a few times and then we're gonna align it along the edges. So we'll take this rainbow, we can copy it. Now this first rainbow, I'm gonna take it right to the edge here and you'll see right when it's split in the center perfectly, this solid purple vertical line pops up. We want this right in the middle because this is where it's going to align with this second element. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drag it all the way over till we see that solid purple vertical line. Now, we also see three dashed horizontal lines. This means that the two elements are aligned perfectly horizontally. Now, this is also very important because when we're doing our seamless pattern, this is where it's going to meet up. So we're gonna repeat this process to do it vertically as well. At the top and bottom, we'll simply copy and paste. We'll bring it all the way up to the top of the template. We see that purple solid line and we will copy paste again and we will bring it down just like this until we see that purple solid line. Now we see those dashed lines again, it is aligned. If you need to have kind of a little cheat, you can select both elements like so. Now we have that white dashed line showing that it's not aligned. We can simply right click, align elements, and we can center both of them like that, okay? So now we have our rainbows. Let's go ahead and add this little cute sun pattern. So in our elements, we can either find another design here or we can simply type in kind of boho sun. And we will find one that we like, which was this one. And same exact idea, except we're gonna put them in the corners this time. So I'm gonna leave this first one right in the center here. We don't wanna have too much white space in a pattern here. Okay, we'll copy and paste it. 
And now we're just gonna bring it up to the corner. Now it's a similar idea. We see this vertical solid purple line, meaning it's cut perfectly in half from side to side, but we also wanna see that same solid horizontal line to show that we have that perfect quarter. This is where the corners of that seamless pattern will line up. So we'll copy and paste it, and we're gonna repeat the same thing for each corner. We see both solid purple lines. There we go. And we'll fill in the very last corner. And now when these squares line up, we're gonna have, each corner is going to make a full sun graphic. So again, for patterns, I like to have a little bit more fun. Let's add in one more last element just to kind of fill things in. So we'll find this cute boho style butterfly. Now I like to choose elements that kind of have very similar colors. I think it looks a little bit more cohesive. So. We're just going to take this butterfly and we're gonna copy and paste it a few times and I'm just going to kind of randomly disperse it in these negative areas or these blank spots. And we can rotate them as we see fit. We can change the sizes if we want. Now I will put a couple kind of on the edge so they fill in our seamless pattern as well. And we're following the same exact concept. I'm pretty happy with this pattern. I'm going to change the background color as well, just to see, kind of play around with different colors. Now, here we already have this blue color, so we can select that, or we can just kind of choose a custom color here. We can play around and see which shades we like better. And what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to test my pattern to show that it actually is a seamless pattern. Now, I do this before I bring it into Printify in case something isn't lining up. I can quickly adjust it here first. So to do that, let's make a blank page. We are simply going to download our pattern now. So we'll go to share, download, and we will only do this page. And we can go ahead and do a transparent background. Now, once it's downloaded, we are going to drag it right back in to Canva. And we're simply going to tile it. So let's make it, we'll just kind of center it here a little bit. And I'm simply going to duplicate this pattern four times and line it up like so to see, now when we zoom in here, we can see that it actually is a seamless pattern and our elements are lined up. We don't have any weird sideways butterflies or half rainbows. And that's looking pretty good to me. Okay, let's do one more type of pattern. We're gonna do this kind of more abstract fuller pattern. So to do this, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're going to find our elements and then line them up on the sides. So we have a new page here, and I simply typed in watercolor flowers for these ones. I might not be able to find these exact ones, but again, the idea is going to be the same. So we can start with this kind of pretty red poppy. The key thing to remember, whenever you bring an element to the side, make sure that you see that solid purple line right in the center, and then when you duplicate it, make sure that it's perfectly aligned with that same flower. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing with different elements to fill up the entire edge here on both horizontal sides and vertical sides. And I'll throw in some leaf elements here. So I've filled up all of my edges here and don't be afraid to play with different sized elements, make it fun. This is supposed to be a slightly more abstract pattern. So all my edges should be lined up, we'll test it. But now we're gonna just kind of fill in this middle part. Now this middle part, since they're not on the edges, they won't be part of the tiling. We don't have to worry about them being cut out. So I'm just gonna find a few more elements and fill in this center. All 
All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Let's test it out real quick. So same thing as we did before, we'll download it and we'll bring it right back into Canva. Okay, we'll add it to a new page, find our downloads here. And same idea, we're just going to copy and paste it right next to each other to see if it lines up. Now, I am very happy with this pattern. Let's go ahead and bring them into Printify. So before I go into Printify, I'm actually going to take this background color of our baby blanket, and I like to change the background color in Printify and use a transparent design so that I can easily switch the colors later with the same pattern. And we're just going to take this hex code, we will copy it, and now in Printify, we can simply find the background color and paste in that hex code. And I will drag in that design. Now we can see that it is high resolution, which is very good. Now we can simply click the pattern button up in the top toolbar, or we can toggle on create pattern right here and we can see that we still have that seamless pattern. Now we can kind of change the size, we can have more rainbows, we can have less rainbows. I like to look at kind of the edges here as well to see that it something isn't totally weirdly cut off. So this looks good to me. Let's go ahead and preview this. And while this is loading, let's go ahead and do that floral pattern. So I'm gonna bring it in on a pair of leggings. And same thing, we'll hit the pattern button. We can make it bigger or smaller. We can move it around a little bit. I recommend, you'll see that we have two print areas here. I recommend adjusting your size first and then clicking apply to all areas because these same size settings will go to the other print areas. Now we'll see that it's been added. Let's go ahead and preview this. Now, it's super cute. We do see that the front seam is a little bit awkward, so let's go ahead and adjust that. So we can see here that it's kind of this purple flower. We can go and kind of center a bit more. So it's about half like that. And let's actually change the background color here. Let's make it kind of this cute light pink. And these are super cute. Now it's still a little bit off. I would go back in and kind of keep adjusting a bit, but this was super easy to make. Let's check in on our baby blanket. Super cute. You just made your first seamless pattern in Canva. And honestly, I could create patterns forever. It is so much fun. You can scale it, tweak it, and start adding it to any product that needs a bold, repeatable design. Let's chat more about it in the comments. What kinds of patterns are you excited to start creating? Now, here's the thing. Not everything needs a pattern. There's another way to make products that sell fast. Text-based designs. They're quick to make, easy to trend match, and they sell like crazy when done right. I'll walk you through the whole process in the next video. No design experience needed.